Okay, so it's the last meditation of the day. So I'll just give a little bit of guidance at the beginning and then a bit of metta to close at the end. So please feel free to practice in whatever way nourishes you right now. Perhaps the kindfulness, the general awareness that includes it all. Whatever emotions you might be feeling, maybe resulting from the discussion or from the rest of the day. Or if you wish, you might like to offer yourself once again some loving kindness with directed thought or bring someone else to mind. But just to begin welcoming our bodies into this space once again. Noticing any tension or tightness. I'm noticing a bit of shoulder pain from sitting near the computer. Not quite sure why sitting near the computer would do that. So obviously some tension happening there. That's not really needed anymore. So just being kind. Allowing those shoulders to loosen up. And just reflecting on what we've shared together, so many different perspectives, points of view that are like one beautiful collage where everyone shared contains some deep personal truth, yet is only one part of the picture. and offers us something to learn from, to reflect on, and help us grow. Recognizing that we can never truly understand another person's motives, behavior, the extent of their suffering or despair. And we can't really ask others to do that for us either. But everyone has their own journey to take. What we can do is be kind to whatever arises for us right now, different from from them before, different from for other people. But this is our chance to learn to be wise, forgiving and gentle with our mind. So I always like to begin by contacting my body and doing a gentle body scan. Can really help to bring the mind out of concepts and ideas and into the present experience that we can only perceive with the mind. Breathing into that experience. Breathing out and letting go. And if you wish, offering yourself some gentle phrases of loving kindness 
to care for whatever arises right now. Or bringing up into your mind the same friend. It can be helpful to use the same person to practice loving kindness towards the loved. Whatever you choose, it's all putting drops of mindfulness in the jar. So I'll be quiet and allow you to have your own journey. And we'll end in about 20 minutes or so.
So we're coming close to the end of the meditation, but I'd like to invite us to just bring up a feeling of gratitude in your heart if you can. First of all, towards yourself. Recognizing the sincerity of your practice. The wisdom in your choice to be here, to practice together and incline the mind towards loving kindness, peace and calm. Thanking your body for all that it does, often unacknowledged. Thanking your mind for allowing you a few moments of calm. And spreading that gratitude to everyone here in this room. To all our fellow meditators, companions on the path. All of us bringing our unique gifts and strengths. our virtue, our right speech during this day and forgiving one another for any mistakes or hurt or harm that we may have caused. Recognizing everyone's trying to do their best with the conditions they have. May we all be safe, free from danger and harm. May we be healthy, may we be healed from any physical disease or emotional upset or trauma. May all suffering fade away. May we be surrounded by wise companions on the path. People who nourish and nurture our strengths. Who are not overly critical or fault finding. But have their good wishes. Benevolence towards us in mind. May we all receive love unconditional love and bring that unconditional love to others whoever we meet this evening or in our ordinary lives
So for those of you coming back tomorrow or joining again on the Zoom, staying connected to this loving kindness as much as possible as you move into activity, perhaps traveling back to your apartment or your home. Reminding yourself to remember loving kindness. Whatever happens outside. So I'm going to chant a little blessing and then we can have a few words from the organizers to end the day. Sape Sata Sape Pana Sape Buddha Sape Purgala Sape Atta Bawa Pariapana Sape Sabe Purisa Sabe Ariya Sabe Anariya Sabe Deva Sabe Mandusa Sabe Vini Parika Aweva Hontu Abya Paja Hontu Aniga Hontu Sukiatanam Pariharantu do come on, John, too. Ya da la da, some party to Maui Kachan, too. <laughs> Some of you weren't sure what it means, but you joined in anyway. It's traditional in Buddhist cultures to say sadhu. It means kind of well done, or in my teacher's language, awesome. <laughs> but the main thing is it makes you smile. <laughs> so, yes. Just going to ask, is there um, a, a chant like that you could teach us? We could be short, easy one. We could all kind of... Mm. That's a nice idea. Yeah. Are you coming on the other days? We could try that. Yeah. yeah. There's one where we can use just the four words of the Brahma Viharas like Metta, Karuna, Mudita and Upeka. I can write them out outside and um, there's a little tune we can have. We could do it together. Yeah. Maybe at the end of tomorrow or something like that. Great. Thank you. Thank you everybody for your practice. And Hope to see some of you at least tomorrow again. <laughs>